China has called for unity among developing countries as rifts emerge between emerging economies and the poorest countries at the Copenhagen Climate Conference. The Pacific island state of Tuvalu exposed differences in the G77 position when it called for discussions on a legally binding amendment to the 97 Kyoto Protocol. This would set targets for reductions in greenhouse gas emissions for major emerging economies such as China and India starting in 2013. The move, backed by dozens of the poorest countries most vulnerable to climate change was blocked by China, India, Saudi Arabia and other large developing nations. Police are holding three people suspected of selling milk powder tainted with the industrial chemical melamine. But officials in Shanxi province managed to stop five tons of contaminated milk from entering the market. The general manager of the Shanxi Jinxiao Dairy Company and two employees were detained last week. They're accused of selling the tainted food powder uh, to a food additive company. Last month, a dairy farmer and a milk salesman were executed for their roles in the 2008 nationwide milk scandal. Then, milk powder with melamine killed at least six children and made hundreds of thousands ill. It was one of China's worst food safety cases and families are still fighting for compensation from the dairy companies involved. China's health ministry says the number of deaths from a H1N1 flu has soared to 325 and more than a third of those fatalities were reported in the first week of this month. The total number of H1N1 cases in the country exceeded 100,000 by Monday. More than 31 million people across the country have been vaccinated against the virus and the government aims to raise that to 65 million by the end of the year. Last month, China's health ministry ordered more transparent reporting of flu fatalities. The move came after respected medical Medical expert Dr. Zhong Nanshan questioned official figures and suggested some officials were under-reporting fatalities to convince their superiors they were containing the virus. China has reasserted its opposition to U.S. arms sales to Taiwan just three weeks after a state visit by President Barack Obama. A foreign ministry spokeswoman said at a regular news conference that China was firmly opposed to arms sales to Taiwan by the United States. The statement came amid U.S. media reports that Washington will grant at least part of a Taiwanese weapons request that includes F-16 fighter jets, Patriot missiles and diesel submarines. Defense officials in Taiwan have not confirmed or denied that any announcement from Washington is expected. Sports now and Taiwanese swimmer Chen Wanjun caused an upset at the East Asian Games in Hong Kong yesterday by winning the world's 400 meter individual medley. Her victory broke China and Japan's stranglehold on the gold medals in the pool. The 18 year old's time was four minutes. 40.21 seconds. Liu Jing, a member of China's World Championship winning team, was second, while her compatriot Zhang Rongrong came third. The final day's results gave China a final gold medal tally of 20 at the pool to Japan's 19. Now with three days left at the Games, China has the most golds with 55, 20 more than Japan. South Korea is in third place with 28 golds, followed by Hong Kong with 10 and Taiwan with 6. And those are the BON headlines for now. But we'll be back with more news after this.